Hello YouTube and welcome back to another TFT video. Come on in and sit on down for we are playing set 12, the new set that just came out yesterday. And it looks like we are playing upgraded champion, which is start with a two star one cost champion. And we've gotten ourselves a twitch here. It was a frost hunter. Uh, this right here is a ranked game. I don't know if I've just mentioned that already or not, but we're playing ranked. This is part of my ranked ladder climb series that I've been doing. If you've seen any of my past videos recently, uh, they're all this. They're all me just climbing the ranked ladder. Um, I have won, I've like topped four, four to every game so far, but it hasn't placed me yet. I'm sure it'll place me like platinum or something. That's how high I got last set, plat one. But we're gonna go beyond plat one this set uh so strap strap on in sit on down and relax for we are playing some ranked set 12 and i think i'm gonna go frost this game it looks possible it looks possible that i'm gonna go frost i'd like to pre-level here but uh I just played Cassid in the last game. I'm not gonna play him again. I already did that before, and it was really fun and all, but I'm really in the mood for playing something else, and we got a third Frost unit right there, so I'll take that. Oh, Mogul's Mail. I've seen that it's pretty good right now. Thieves' Gloves will always give you ideal items and gain two sparring gloves. That's not bad either. I could just outfit everybody with items. Living Forge has always been one of my favorites. Uh, I, mm, well, that would help me reach Frost faster. Living Forge. No, don't want that. Kind of want Living Forge. Not gonna lie. I love this augment. I'm gonna take it. It's a good old augment that I love dearly. We're gonna get it. Oh, and there's all the new artifacts, too. I forgot about that. Horizon Focus, Blighted Jewel. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna give it to Warwick. And I'm gonna see what he does. What is he? He's a Frost Vanguard. And you know what? This will help him out as well. I don't know if I stack that. Oh, no, no. This doesn't give him uh, immunity. And now, all I need to do is give him a Rage Blade for a Titans and see where that takes me. Let's see. Probably don't need a level or anything, but I hopefully get a Warwick. Dude, Rage Blade. Rage Blade would be really fun on him. He can't cast, so he just needs attack speed. <laughs> but we're not going to depend on him the whole game. We're not even going to sit on him the whole game. Like, by that I mean we won't spend our time trying to 3-star him, because there's no point. Uh, I already leveled up too fast. And with Living Forge, I think I just want to keep my board as strong as possible. Maybe I just go into Frost. There's 7 units, so I could at least hit 7 Frost. But it's not that strong. I think it's just kind of alright. Oh man, I can't wait to give him a Rage Blade. Look at him go. Look at him go already. He's already a machine. He's gonna be able to heal up so fast. Oh, come on. You can do it, bro. You can do it. Oh, he's stunned. Sad. Just let him hit. Oh, dude. Didn't let my Warwick auto. It's okay, though. I just need to find one more. This roll will surely yield yep surely yield results okay that's a lot better makes him a little bit stronger titans wouldn't be bad on him either so i might i might just take the titans to have like a strong warwick that will win me this whole this whole bit here this whole stage <laughs> called it a bit well it is a little bit of a bit i used to be an actor you know and stage is where you do a bit sometimes hank scorpio optoning reveal who your next opponent is oh i gotta watch my warwick work 
Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You can do it. Look at him not get stunned by anything. Oh, but he keeps switching units. There we go. We needed that one out of the way for sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't know, dude. It, it kinda has to be a rage blade, though. It kinda has to be a rage blade. Uh, what do we got here? Maybe I could add in some pyro in there, dude. Any pyro vanguards? Absolutely not. I don't really like Rumble. I think he's okay, I guess. I, I don't know, maybe it's like champ disdain that I have. Who knows? Uh, did I thirsty or... Oh. I didn't really realize what I was going for there, but this is good. Diana is kind of one of the main carries in this Frost team here. Reroll with one cost lower. Yeah, I mean, if it's just going to give it to me like that, then, you know, I'm not going to deny it. I'm not going to deny it, dude. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Honeymancy with a support golem. Shapeshifter, Eldritch. This is going to be good. I just beat that guy, but I know his team's going to be strong. Bastion, maybe he's hoping to get the new new augment. It's really good. Portal, Shapeshifter, more Honeymancy, a guy going Vanguard, Sugarcrafts, and Random. A Ram, I like to call it. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, scratch him up, brother. Scratch him up. Scratch, yeah, can't stop him. He could have definitely killed me if he had that Eternal Whisper on him. Could have definitely got me. Got me good. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing at all. One more re-roll. Dude, I, if I get one of the lower cost shops again, I might roll down a little bit to three star Warwick. Even though I said I wouldn't. But I think I could just chill for now. Chill still for now. Chrono Hunter. Um None of that seems good for me right now. None of it seems that good. I don't know what to tell you. Honey Mancy. I'm tired of seeing this build. Oh, dude, look at Warwick. He just tear that guy up. Tore him up, Rick. Oh, can't stop him. Uh, I'd like to thank Mortdog for this idea. I did not come up with this myself. I watched the patch notes and he said it was good on Warwick. And it is. It's pretty good on Warwick. I always have a hard time placing this item on champions because I'm confused. Like, what champion would not want to cast their ability, you know? It seems like a pretty difficult thing to figure out for me. Uh, Vanguard, who do I put in here? Server, Chrono, none of these units are good. For sure. None of them. None. Zero. Can't use any of those. I'm so glad I took Living Forge. I have no regrets on that. It's just too good. Pretty soon here, I'm just gonna- Oh, close to that replay. Rod? Rod? No, Rod! No rod, though? Dude. That's sad. That's freaking tragic. You can't scale forever now. Gain a minor effect. I don't... Do I want that? Oh, uh, what is that? What does that mean? Reroll? Two free rerolls. I like that. Oh, Keep I got still. this this guy. This guy right there. I'm gonna do it. I can't I can't just sit on this idle power here. I need to make a decision and there it is, it's made. Now build another Titans for my Oh dude, Warwick's not a tank, but he's tanking right now. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Titan's pretty good on him. Pretty good on him. 
might replace it with another Titans. I like the... No, no, I think that's a good combo of items on him. He's doing fine. No need to look a gift horse in the mouth or however the saying goes. I'm gonna take this. Next combat, 30% shred and sunder all enemies. I demand tribute. Who else is the other frost I'm missing right now? It's a uh, Swain. Keep still. Okay, I tried rolling for Warwick and it didn't work, so I would no longer be rolling for Warwick. Spear? Spear on him? Galio can hold my items real fast. I just don't like having items not slammed. I won't lie to you. It uh, really irks me to see them. Like this guy. You see? He's got all his items on his bench. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Dude, good thing Frost gives me this one extra unit to, to tank, because... That would not work out so well for me if I didn't have that. That spell is really good. Just like Shred. Shred and Sunder. Helped out quite a bit. Roll a die, gain it. Dude, I'm gonna do it. Gamble, go! Two. It's nothing, literally. Uh, Hunter, Bastion. I just need like another front line. They're going down too fast. Going down just a little bit too fast. I need another. Another, please. I'm still doing pretty good on eco and stuff, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, <laughs> he's right on Nasus. Good. Good, good. We need to get rid of him. Too strong. Okay, giving away that Shojin was a good idea. I needed that too. I'm kinda gaming right now, dude. Gaming hard. It's not too bad. Alright, what do I want? Oh no! I mean, that's literally what I needed. Except for Olaf would have been better, but. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I forgot I had that immediately. That's hilarious. Well, there goes my five frost streams for now. It definitely could have been a useful addition instead of, uh, you know, my Shen. Oh well. Maybe I'll get lucky and find one anyway. <laughs> That's so embarrassing, you guys. Don't comment on that. I'm just kidding. Comment on that if you want. That's funny. Uh, hole breaker. Dude. Hole breaker. Where man is in. I'm gonna take hole breaker. For now. Okay. Alright. This is okay. Salvaged a little bit thanks to my living forge. Now I, I got at least a front line of artificially stacked uh, Galio. Oh, fairy build. Strong, so, strong back line, dude. Oh, he nuked my units. Got him now. Nice. Okay, uh, Olaf would be sick. He would be sick. AF. Ain't a target dummy. I demand tribute. Magic in might comes out. Okay, I definitely didn't find the dude. So I rolled one more time. A few more times. Lots of Callistas and Namis. Oh! Victory awaits. That's, uh, that's better still. It was worth rolling down for. So 
Sweet, dude. I'll take that. I know that I said very early on in this game that I would not be rolling down for a Warwick, but I've low-key been rolling down for a Warwick this whole time. <laughs> but it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's no big deal. We're good. We're good. We're still winning somehow. So, one of my strategies for this game, who I'm sure the pro players, I'm sure they wouldn't agree with this, but one of my strategies for this game is sometimes just staying really high health and uh, staying as high health as I possibly can the whole game and then dying at the end. But it's a top four. Like 90% of the time, it's a top four. And those are just numbers. Like, I'm not even good at numbers or anything, but you can't argue with those facts. You just can't. All three costs. Damn. Not a single useful one for me. Uh, mm -mm. Mage? No. All of that is trash. Another Warwick. Okay, I'll just add him. I'll just add this guy. That's what he's there for, right? For you to add him out of nowhere. Bloodthirster. Dude, I'm ready to find Olaf now. I am ready to find that Olaf now. I have three items for him, and then I can transfer that jeweled gauntlet onto my way. You can do it! You can do it! Oh, dude, he has a Wukong as well. Look at him. His Wukong is admittedly a lot stronger than mine. Ooh, the 10 win streaks finally come to an end, dudes. We made it for a while, but it was only a matter of time before we were... Our throne was taken. 16% more damage is not bad. Hero, grab bag. <laughs> okay, alright. I guess I lied. I wanted Warwick the whole time. Let me just... Reroll. And light. Okay, make sure I didn't find him there. There you go. I guess I did want Warwick. And I never knew the whole time. Jeweled Gauntlet. I'll give him this. Okay. He's just my Olaf item holder for now. That's all. Damn, that vertically inclined augment would have been really good, I'm realizing here. But, look at Warwick go. He's kind of carrying. He's carrying hard. Nice, dude. Yes. Wow, Wukong lived that whole time, too. It's good. Good, good looks for my Olaf. Actually, dude... I kind of wish I had, uh, what's that other chick? Diana. I'd rather give Diana those items and have her, have her be chilling out in there. I don't know if this is better. I think it might be. I'm going to hold on to Tarek for now, but I'm thinking it might be better to have the Tarek in there. Just so my Diana can be stronger whenever I finally find her. Looks like I have to go level 9 this game if I want to complete the image that I have in my head of how my board should be like. Wow, that earthquake actually made my game lag. Pretty sure I did that, right? Yeah, sure did do that. It's pretty good. Uh, free stun for like a gold. <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazingly good. Oh, I'm free. I gotta remember that I'm free. No, 
level off. Briar, I guess. Right? That was the right choice. I mean, I could use another Bloodthirster for Olaf or Diana, whoever it is. There was unfortunately no Diana there, though. Right? Right, right. I'm not confused about that. There. Yeah, there was a Morgana, not Diana. I want Diana. This is cool, though. Can have another shifter here. Dang, I wish I could sell. I can't sell. And just like. It's probably a lot better on her. I would guess. There we go. I like that. I just wanted more damn. You know, more damage. She should be pretty strong, though. Now, look at her go. Nice. Dude, that looks really cool side by side. Warwick and, uh, El what's her name? I was almost called her Eldritch Briar. Warwick and Briar just fighting side by side like that. Could start feeding her now and giving her more HP. But is it where? Champion holding 300. Holding three items gains 300 HP, huh? Hmm, <laughs> an even bigger Warwick. That works. Shapeshifter, Bastion. Could put in another Bastion. But then I would miss out my chance to Econ here, and I'd. I want to take that chance. I want to take that chance to eat on here. Oh, it looks like it's getting stormy out there. It's been raining like every day. Oh. My poor Briar. She got targeted so hard. But my Warwick will adventure. <laughs> Dude, he's been carrying me all game. That Warwick's been carrying all game, dude. This guy still hasn't slammed any items. There's Olaf. But is it even worth playing Olaf at the moment? I mean, yes. Yes, it is. For sure. Now all I need is a Diana. And I'll be chilling hard. AF. For sure. I'll have Bastion. I'll have Seven Frost. And I'll transfer all of those items on her. I want her to be my carry. Olaf is cool and all, but I just think Diana is cooler. Oh. What do we have here? Okay. Olaf. Uh, Zerath. Camille. Hmm. Who do I replace? Nobody. Fortunately, I just don't need them. And uh, what I do need... Some Olaf items. Even Shroud. I guess I would redo this. Or Forger here. Okay. What could I build with this? Nashers? Runins? I'm gonna have to give Olaf like pretty subpar items, I feel like. Oh wow, that guy's insanely strong. I didn't even watch that fight. Druid, Honeymancy. He has like a pretty stable board. I can't believe this board is so freaking strong though. One full item held by a champion becomes radiant for one round. Olaf, I don't want to give you bad items, my brother. Um, Trinity Force? <laughs> I mean, it just looks like no matter which way I slice it, he's gonna have to get some pretty suboptimal items. 
but it's okay. Then he can have that. Maybe I'll get something else that'll be good for him. I mean, I feel like that's not the worst that it could have been, but it's also not great. So I've been ignoring the charms for a little bit too long, I think. I bet this guy had something. Dude, his team is crazy. Who am, who am I fighting there? This guy, Six Shapeshifter. <laughs> Six Shapeshifter with a Cassiopeia carry. Okay, that's what I've been waiting for. Okay. Now what? Level 9? Level 9 coming soon. Everybody's actually leveling right now, and uh, I might die because of it. Darn, dude. Just trying to get some two stars. Just trying to get some two stars here. That's all. You're like four Olaf, but you just can't live without a healing item. Oh, the seven frost, though. Seven frost is definitely very useful. That was just the ghost board, but even so. We saved, we conserved some much needed HP here, as it seems like the whole board has, the whole lobby has restabilized. I'm not bound by this, but. Damn, I suppose I could have gone for Zira. The Guard Breaker wouldn't have been the worst item either. I could have actually put something on Olaf. But I'm gonna get another anvil soon, so if I get a Death's Embrace or something, two champions without items gain suspicious trench coats. That's hilarious. That's wild, man. Beauty and life. That is unfortunate AF. All of my stuff sucks for now. Here, I'll put him over here. And, no, I meant to put Warwick in between them. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this might be a little bit better position, sort of. My Warwick's still in the middle of all the danger. Maybe Diana will dash back there and get him. Nope. Nope. Got a little Winter Soldier. This guy is so strong. No, the Diana ult didn't go off. Oh, dude. It's so close. It was so close. Three-star Wukong is a beefy boy, for sure. Reforger and Remover. I don't want that. Okay, I know you guys saw that. How unlucky is that on a scale from 1 to 10? Write it down in the comments. Just 1 to 10. Don't even write anything else. Just That's pretty unlucky. That's, that's all I wanted was a 2-star Olaf. That's all I needed. Oh, come on, dude. This guy has a 2-star Olaf. Oh no. Come on, dude. No. And the three star Jinx, dude. She's actually amazing. Five Sugar Craft. She doesn't even have, like, any deep trait so that she's gone into. Maybe a three star Huey here would have been the play. Certainly would have helped. He is uh, kind of decked out in items here. Maybe I'll want that magnetic remover soon. We'll see. Dude, no two-star Diana, though. Or Olaf. My late game carries, and I don't have them. 
Champion's gone from the pool? This guy's just holding two-star Olaf. He's not even using him anymore. That's quite unfortunate. I'm thinking... Oh. Cold Breaker might not be the best item on Diana. You kind of need to position her in a very specific spots. Which I'm not doing right now. I really need to do that too. For her to like dash back there and get whatever champ you need her to get. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want a top four, I want a top one. Two tickets to the gym show. Okay, that's uh it's a little bit better. Let me see who I'm fighting next. I'm fighting this honey dude. And the problem with him is actually just killing that chick. I'm gonna do this. There, I think that'll be better. If he didn't switch sides, I might go back there and get him. Diana could very possibly go back there and get him. Nope. He chose not to do that twice. Good. <laughs> he chose not to do that twice, I see. I, ooh, was my positioning better that time now? Oh. Dude, now my Warwick, she's just blasting my units. <laughs> okay. We lived another round. We survived another round, so. Ah, uh, no, Diana. Get a three starred way by now, though. Okay, I would like to live this round, and this dude has a three star Jinx. Um, and a scene now. How it works. Which is that it doesn't actually work. That, you know, Diana doesn't actually jump back there, so. Maybe this. Let's get those units out of my way and go back there and get that Jinx. Oh, dude, please. Olaf. Olaf. Oh, Olaf tried so hard. He tried so hard! No! Dude, three star drinks is awesome! Oh, look, come on. You can beat that guy. You can beat that guy. Yes! Come on, third? Third? Right? It's a third. GG. If you liked that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And subscribe if you want to support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.